In step four of exercise number two, the following actions have to be implemented to define the rough machining of the pocket ledge. Add a new iMachining operation. In the SolidCam Manager, right-click Operations, Add Milling Operation, and select 2D iMachining. The iMachining Operation dialog box is displayed, and the default iRough is used for technology. Click the New button on the Geometry page to define the machining geometry for the pocket ledge. When the Geometry Edit dialog box is displayed, Pick on the lower contour of the pocket ledge in the SOLIDWORKS graphics area as shown. Select Auto Constant Z in the Chain section of the Geometry Edit dialog box to close the chain. Click the Yes button to accept the selection. In the Chain list, right-click Chain 1 and choose Mark Open Edges. The Mark Open Edges dialog box is displayed. This dialog box enables you to define parts of the chain as open or closed. In the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, pick on the outside edge of the pocket ledge. Notice the single entity has turned black, meaning it is now marked as open and iMachining can use the open edge for entry. Click OK to accept the selected edge as open, and then click OK again to confirm the geometry selection. Switch to the tool page of the iMachining Operation dialog box. Click the Select button to display the part tool table. For this operation, use the already created 9.5mm end mill from the previous operation by selecting it from the list. Click the Select button to choose the tool for the operation and exit the part tool table. Switch to the Levels page and click the Upper Level button to define the upper machining level. Select the top face of the target model in the SOLIDWORKS graphics area as shown. Click OK to confirm the selection. Next, click the Pocket Depth button and select the lower face of the pocket ledge for the machining depth as shown. Click OK to confirm the selection. On the Technology Wizard page, use the default cutting conditions generated by the wizard with a machining level aggressiveness of 6. On the Technology page, the step down and cutting angles generated by the wizard are shown. By default, a 0.24 mm allowance will be left on the walls. On the link page, the helical entry settings do not apply to this particular geometry. iMachining will enter and exit the cut where it calculates best. Name the operation iRough Pocket Ledge. Click the Save and Calculate button to add this iRough operation to the cam tree and calculate the iMachining toolpath. Click the Simulate button to once again display the simulation control panel. Using the default HostCAD simulation mode, click the Play button to show the wireframe toolpath on the model. The tool approaches from outside and performs the roughing toolpath, first removing the material from the middle of the ledge and then clearing its corners. Using the Exit buttons, close the simulation control panel and the iMachining Operation dialog box. At this stage, the CAM part has been fully programmed with iMachining 2D and Step 4 is complete. If you have not followed along, apply and practice the procedures shown in this video to define the rough machining of the pocket ledge.